Hi, everybody, and welcome to this Bulls update as we're joined by UB men's soccer coach Stu Riddle. And we've talked an awful lot amongst many sports, Stu, about that flip the calendar, flip the switch time of the year. You're getting ready to get into Mid-American Conference play, and it's, it's kind of that line in the schedule, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, it's um, obviously with only six teams in, in the MAC on the men's side, we have a lot of non-conference games. And at times it's difficult to motivate the players to get them up for those games. And um, we're glad that the majority of those are done now. And we're all itching to get into MAC play this weekend. Yeah, and you're diving right in. We'll talk about that in a moment. But just give me an assessment over an 8 2 and one non-conference start to your year. Well, look, I think if someone had said at the start of the season you'd be 8-2-1 and one going into conference play, you'd be reasonably happy and, and, and take it. We're disappointed that we've lost the games we did, but they provided great opportunities opportunities for us to learn. And uh, we have learned from those. We showed that in the last match, and we're looking forward to Akron. Well, the Mid-American Conference isn't doing you any favors by throwing you right into the fire here as your opener in the Mid-American Conference comes on the road at 23rd-ranked Akron. I believe you've said to us before they were a preseason number one at one point in the country. So obviously they have a very high caliber program as a coach the you certainly would prefer to start with someone a little easier but is there a level of hey let's just let's jump in and see who we are in a game like this yeah it's you know a rematch of last year's conference championship game so um we're lucky that we've got experienced players that have played at Akron before and played in a big match against Akron before and we know it's going to be an enormous challenge they've got the best coaching staff in the country the best player in the country and um, we know it's going to be a real difficult task for us yeah and then it doesn't get much easier with your second mid-american conference game which is on the road at West Virginia yeah look we have to play everyone right there's five six uh, teams five games and uh, we've prepared ourselves by going to South Florida and uh, going to Binghamton on homecoming night and going to Duquesne, and we're ready for this challenge. We've talked an awful lot about your outstanding goal scoring, Russell Ciceroni certainly leading the country still in that, but maybe we haven't talked as much as we should about the defense that your team has been playing. Seven shutouts through 11 matches. Uh, that's a pretty amazing statistic, and sometimes the, the, the guys who grind out the good defense don't get as much publicity as the offensive guys, but give a little to them right now. Well, well, they're worth their weight in gold, every single one of them. You know, it, it says a lot when you've got a, a second team all conference player in Nick Forrester last year who couldn't crack the starting lineup at the start of the season. And that's because the other guys, the other back four members, were, were playing so well. And um, obviously, we're glad to have Nick, Nick back in there now. But, um, you know, they've been doing fantastically well, and it's led by Joseph Kuda behind them. And they've all been f absolutely fantastic. Seven shutouts for Kuda. He ranks third in UB history for shutouts in the season. What has Joseph done to elevate his game to, to as high a point as there is in the country? He really came on towards the end of last season. There was, there was a point um, in the season last year where we were flip-flopping between him and Cameron Hogg in the net. And come conference time, Joseph really put his hand up and he's made that position his own. You know, he's, um, he's very commanding. Um, he's very dominant in the air and um, he's an incredible shot stopper. You, you mentioned it already. You have a veteran team. You have seniors that have played and won at Akron's field before. They've been in MAC championships. They've sort of seen what it takes to be successful. How much does that help you as a coach as you embark upon the challenge of your conference schedule right now? Well, it, it, look, it gives us a great reference point because as we're preparing for these games, we can talk about the moments that they've been in before, the experiences that they've had, and what we've got to learn from and what we know is coming. So um, a really good reference point and um – you know, I'm really, really happy, and this group's moving forward well. Right, and as we we joked about it, but we we, we can't not mention the, the season that Russell has had, and he continues, as I mentioned, first in the NCAA in goals with 11, first in points with 29. Uh, every week, he's the guy in the in the write up of your success and victories. Uh, I, I think maybe I've run out of things to ask you about Russell. Have you run out of good things to say about him yet? Look, Russell will always do his best work in conference play. I think you know he's the first one to admit he's probably disappointed with this statistics so far because he knows he can do better and we know he can do better and he's going to do better and he always shines come Mac time. Yeah, I love it uh, as you as a coach that says he lead, he's leading the country in goals and points and you tell me that he's disappointed in his performance and I think that says an awful lot about him and you as well too doesn't it? Yeah you know look we've got really high expectations on Russell and, and he sets high expectations for himself and um you know, he's probably disappointed he's not in the 15-16 goal range here, and he will be come the end of the season. All right, well, he's got some chances to do that. Some big tests for Stu's men's soccer team coming up as they begin Mid-American Conference play. Good luck. I know your guys will rise to the occasion. Thank you very much. Stu Riddle is the UB men's soccer coach. Tough sledding here coming up, but interesting challenges for his team, and we'll keep you up to date right here on UBBulls.com. We thank Stu for joining us for this Bulls update here on the Bulls Digital Network.